Hey guys, Brian here, and like they both said, this was an absolutely double-edged game here. And before I forget, patrons log in because Duck analyzed this game move by move, and I asked him questions about this game as well. And it's really cool to see his insight into what he was thinking in certain positions and his overall strategy. And I know patrons have liked Duck's analysis of his own games in the past, so uh, definitely you're going to enjoy this one. Link is in the video description. If you guys are not a patron, you can become one. 
get access to a ton of cool stuff, man. Interviews, Q and A's, never before seen games, and a lot more. Check it out. Just whoever had the um, the last chance to finish off, and that was Doug. Look at this clutch pawn taking out the escape square, and Doug beautifully done here. And props to Butcher too, because that rook sack to open up that pawn, like going all the way back here. Boom! Look at this, and look at the beautiful square control. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of forming a wall in front of the king and getting ready for the back rank checkmate there great game by both and just duck with the troll in here of h6 g5 gotta love how butcher laughed there as well and came out to that beautiful win at the end if you guys want to get duck coffee for that brilliant brilliant finish his link is in the video description and so many tactics here that that we're going to go over and that's what happens in double edged games so let's go straight to it so in this position we had queen b7 let's go move back will be another move for black here Yes, bishop check, and yes, duck. We'll talk about how uh, how he did. It. I'm always curious, like whenever I go into analysis, I know the players watch it, so I wonder what goes through the head when they see these type of tactics. Like, oh, I can't believe I missed it, right? So, but outsider sees everything. It's really, really hard when you're the one playing. So now I want to go to this position, and in the game we had f takes. Let's go move back. Will be another move for black here. really well because we had f takes and then we had queen here remember setting up the mate look at this square control right so going over here one idea for black is queen a5 the idea is i'm going to come check so let's see if you know white won't do it but if white continues his plan then queen before check i just want to show you a really cool mate look at this knight check knight check queen check queen back boom 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 that is beautiful mate so Going back here, you got to play something like, you got to keep the queen there, and g takes, bishop takes, and now rook here, threatening, but now you can swing the rook over, and this could be one continuation, queen check, and boom, 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 going to get kind of the fork there and pick it up. So going back here after the queen check, if king a1, then bishop here to set up here, and there's nothing you can really do to stop it. If rook over, then bishop check, and watch this, boom, boom. And you don't take, boom, check with the rook, and that is a that's a pretty mate there. So I just want to show you that one line. And also going over here, we had bishop or knight f3. Let's go move back. Will be another move for white here. Yes, bishop takes right. If king takes, I know he won't do it, but if king takes, I just want to show the continuation. Boom. And uh, that's going to be, that thing is going to queen. So going back here, if queen takes, then bishop, or I'm sorry, queen takes, and watch this. Queen takes, and then boom, nice fork. So, so many chances going into the endgame on both sides, but they were very, very hard to see because they were unorthodox positions. Butcher was low on time as well, and it just, whoever had the advantage and took advantage of it and built on it and Ultimately executed would be the winner here, and that was uh, Duck in this beautiful, beautiful game here, and absolutely clutch. And man, that is a uh, that's what Duck life is all about. So beautifully done, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game. Comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe with the notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.